really trying to make sure that we have a confident person If I tell you what I have for breakfast, that might be a little inappropriate. I'm so grateful. Got me a whole Uncle Hunt, please, you know the clip. Um, you want me to go ahead and say it? Okay. That's bad. Oh my god. Kyle got that face, you just want slaps. Hey, chill out, Judge here. Hey, bro. Hey, Tony, hey, shoot on. <laughs> Find you a seat over there or something, man. Dude, what the fuck is wearing this? Dirty, dirty fade, motherfucker. The fuck you talking about? You're still talking. Come on, guys. Okay, uh, District Attorney Ripley. Yes, yes, Judge. I ain't gonna lie, this nigga next to me is ugly as fuck, boy. I ain't gonna cap. We're waiting on the defense. Bro, I'm beating your ass when you get out of here. Their lawyers, their lawyers not here. I'm gonna call her again. Fuck you standing up in court for? I'm gonna go ahead and call her again. Yeah, right, cool right. that shirt. I'll be both y'all niggas. Those shirts say W, V, that ain't no Louis. Yeah, hey, hey officer, I scored those guys out. I scored that guy out. Yo, your dumb ass ain't talking, nigga. Bro, next I'm like, he's talking. Yeah, they're gonna be escorted out. These guys talk again, these two right over there. Escort them out. What, what they got on? What in the Who's dog right shit is going on? These two right here. Mr. Black and Yellow and Mr. White and Red. Alright. Copy that. Which side is GG? This the GG side? <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, what the fuck know, is going on? Hey, stop swearing in the courtroom where you'll be escorted out. Oh, I just fucking. Bro, what is you on? <laughs> What's upstairs? Hey, Butterfly Bubbles, appreciate the follow. Welcome, welcome to the family. Can everybody shout, please? <clears throat> yeah, get on push, bro. That's too dark. Yeah, I was about to say, Put yeah. down push, bro. Oh, shit, my fault. Stupid ass yeah. cop. Yeah, your fault. Greasy head, motherfucker. Do better, Paul Blart. Chat, bro. What's going on in this bitch, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said you stupid about the fuck up. Who that nigga that look like plenty just walked in here? Check. Please. Uh, Store your style, plenty. Just uh, add, just add, yeah, with the the that shit oh. ugly, chat. Your, your lawyer has been made aware, but your keys for your apartments down at the gardens have been subpoenaed. So we can match up whose key belongs to which unit. You talking about the apartments that get broken to all the time? Sit down in the back of here. What that mean? I'm not quite understanding why. You talking about the apartments that get broken to? Moments, you guys will be providing us with. I push the talk, don't work, Jack. I want to chop it up with y'all through this. We can get in. We've already been in. I'm just gonna be honest with you. You talking about the apartments that get broken to all the time? And ain't no telling who left what. Mr. Brown, are you are you preparing to represent yourself in court today? Absolutely not. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't own like no key. Defense. I don't own no home in the garden. Yo, take your mask off. Oh, you I have don't? a key. Nah, my name is Free Band Junkie. The chief said I'm good. Wow. Free Band Junkie, I have a case file with your name on my desk. It's a we do, we always the only gang in court, because these other gangs ain't on shit. <laughs> Let me take a look at this whole thing. All right, I'm about to go get We the ones I'm always in court. Oh, why you we the ones so winning all the wars. <laughs> <laughs> we the ones. <laughs> I just Other know, games. I don't, no more. I don't got no use. RP dry as hell. I'm just gonna keep it the book. So happy to finally meet you. Hey, RP dry. Junkie. Keep it a book. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry it was under these circumstances, but all these. That's what it is. Definitely a bunch Not of all of them though. <laughs> Not every gang RP is dry. It's, it's it's about four gangs in here with some solid ass RP, right? And it's four solid ass gangs. Some of them just move right to where they don't get caught. But some gangs though. They literally have a block, have a hood, is a gang, and you will never see them or hear from them, period. Like, damn, who the fuck? Huh? huh? You know what I'm saying? Dry as hell, bro. RP be dry as fuck. That's why we always in court. We win every war because we them niggas that we got all shooters. We always in court because, see, our RP ain't dry. We really out here. Bro. That's why I'm the problem. Says that's problem solved. 
I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. <laughs> All right, thank you too. Hey, bro, can you get from in front of me like this, bro? Damn, hey, bro. Hey, 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 yeah, bro. Hey, yeah, bro. 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 What you want, bro? You beasting for us? That you feel? We about to beat this shit. You want to be sick? I can't wait to see your face right. when we beat this shit. Yeah. Hey, please, yeah. shut the fuck up, bro. Oh, you said four and zero. Please, my nigga, the judge is right there. Shut up, bro. Please, Make us look bad, bro. You all right? Yeah. Who was that? All right, everybody. That door will stay locked until uh, quarter's over, right? No more, uh, no more entrances, no more exits. You gotta use the restroom. Go ahead and do you know, what you gotta do now. <clears throat> We're locking down the courthouse now. <laughs> Any shots fired from here, I need y'all on that, okay? <sighs> Hey chat, dog. Imagine how niggas felt sitting in the same position. Please do not approach the mission. And D Money was on the other side, bro, serving these niggas bricks. <laughs> dog. Dummies. Both parties ready. Dog. I I'm still reviewing. I'm still reviewing. The Imagine being in this seat. Four minutes ago. And D Money is right there in court with all the evidence of all the bricks he told you. Thank you. Niggas in that bitch, give me my thousand bucks. Give me my thousand bucks. I ain't gonna fight it. Uh, <laughs> a I ain't have a brick party. <laughs> oh, big dumbass. Oh, hey, D Money, D Money, go to chat. No cap. No cap. <laughs> brick party. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Hell no. Good brick party game. Oh. Okay, so just to remind you, the judge has uh, allowed us to subpoena the keys for the units that we have searched. Specifically, there are units that were found with illegal contraband in them. So if uh, you flex your T muscle and think keys, right? If I call out a number in just a moment, I need you to stand for me, okay? And I need to remind you guys that you are under uh, oath. We will get you um, we'll get you sworn in um, because if you do not comply, you can be held in contempt of court and also obstruction of justice. We was never served a search warrant. We was never served a search warrant. Did they have a search warrant? I didn't get one. It's trial. Shit. Shit. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't need to remind you. I'm going to call out some numbers here. If you do not comply, you'll be charged with obstruction of justice, okay? So starting with <clears throat> unit number one. If you look at your key ring and you have number one on your keys, please stand. Everybody go okay. ahead and take keys. Okay. Unit number two. Can I ask you something, DA? Absolutely. Y'all searched my house? We definitely did. Okay, um, so are you gonna serve me a search warrant? It's actually posted on your door. And you just assumed that I would go home and see that? Do you not return to your home? Sometimes no, sometimes. The state requirement, the state requirement is that we um, either post or deliver if the person is actually in their home, in their dwelling. You were not in your dwelling, uh, so it was posted on your door. My dwelling is the world. Mr. Brown, sit down.
number two. Check y'all key rings, man. House number two. I think I was in jail. That's why I couldn't return to my dwelling because I was in jail. Yeah, the entire garden was actually marked off under the racketeering. There was a, an announcement in the news if you didn't see it. Yeah, it's um, if you'd like to know the specific statute, it's the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, also known as a RICO charge. So no one has keyring number two. Might as well sit on his lap, man. Okay, number three. Uh, don't you see me trying? I to have keyring number three. Okay, so Mr. Big Belly and Mr. Uh, Free Band Junkie. Free Band Junkie, I thought you said you didn't have a home. That's my baby mother house. Oh, uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Number four. Have a seat, gentlemen. Okay. Number five. Hmm. Number six. Ten, eleven. Thirty-five, thirty-six, twenty-four. Oh, really now? Okay. Twenty-seven. Mr. Rags Johnson, where you, where you live at? You said, well, officer. Where do you live at, Mr. Rags Johnson? Not in the garden, sir. Okay. No residential. Uh, you have no keys. And no houses there. No, sir. Okay. So none of y'all have houses in the gardens except them three. Good for the record. Nope. What's going on, Mr. Jack? If you're if you're letting us know that it's your um the mother of your child's home, then we'll we'll definitely need her name as well. Um, are you guys officially married? No, not at all. She's deceased. Oh, okay. When's the last time um that she entered the residence? If you don't mind me asking. She passed away. Maybe um like a month ago, she used to be she used to mess with this dude. He died. His name was Slime Wap, and I had a key. But I think that home is is vacant. But I still got the key if you need it. We don't need it. Okay. Well, Mr. Brown, I appreciate you being forthcoming about your home. Excuse me. Uh, did you say twenty four? I sure, I, I, I sure did, yeah. Is that yours? Well, I purchased it a while back, but I uh usually Airbnb it out. Okay. Um, Terry. I that you have receipts or records. Um, for uh, which house was the one with the nine hundred? No, ma'am. The last time somebody rented it, uh, rented it out, it's been a minute, so I, I lost those uh, receipts. Ten four. So you guys don't want to claim this $9 million? Someone Which apartment? Who lives in apartment 36? I know y'all want y'all money back, right? Apartment 36? All right. I need to give you the key. No, no, we don't no. need the key. Okay, thank you so much. Um... <sighs> you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Both parties are ready. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Yes, well, let's get it started. Um, with the plaintiffs, with the um, excuse me, kind of, kind of tired. Barely got any rest this Memorial Day weekend. Was out with the family fishing. Um, could both parties introduce yourself. My name is District Attorney Ellen Ripley, and I'll be representing Ellis Pitty in the state today. Who's there next to you, Mrs. Ripley? I am Chief Drizzy. I'm here as acting assistant DA to uh, help Ms. Ripley out in this case. Could we get uh, the fire department down here to get rid of that fire hydrant? Yes, sir. I will contact them. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and who do we have representing the defendants? My name is Strawberry Cash. I'm a criminal defense lawyer. My name is Lawyer Chris, criminal defense lawyer. Okay. Nice to see you guys again. Um, okay, DA Ripley, you have the floor. 
Thank you, Jeff. Today, the state presents a case against the Grizzly Gardens criminal organization. Today, we're prepared to show evidence uh, that we believe shows that they are involved in what is known as the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, meaning they are being charged with a RICO charge. And you may be asking yourself, what constitutes a RICO charge? Well, dating back to 1970, RICO charges basically state that um, a group of individuals must be found to commit at least two acts of racketeering activity from a list of 35 crimes. There are 27 federal crimes and eight state crimes that are on that list. We believe that the evidence that we will show you today will prove that all of the gentlemen that you see here are not only involved in those criminal acts, but they have committed more than two of those offenses over the course of several months. Our officers, undercover officers, as well as uh, criminal informants have provided us with a lot of compelling evidence, not to mention their own records will show that all the gentlemen that you see here who will, would typically be wearing Grizzly Gardens chains uh, are in fact involved in racketeering and should be charged with the RICO charges. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Ripley. Uh, Mrs. Cash. Open the statement, please. Mrs. Cash. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Open the statement, please. Yes, sir. So all of the clients that we have on stand today, um, the wit the evidence that we have on file and we're, you will be presented is all hearsay. Um, today we are going to prove this with um, our defense of these clients not being guilty in this racketeering act. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have before us a gang called the Grizzly Garden Boys are all being indicted under the RICO Act for racketeering, distribution of narcotics, attempt murders, uh, how do you want to try? Who do you want to try first, uh, Mrs. Ripley? Um, what do you think, Jersey? Do we go with uh, Lonzo first? I think we'd like to start with Mr. Wanzo Brown. Okay. Mr. Wanzo Brown, could you please step to the plaintiff station, please? No. See, see, senora. We need an interpreter for him. Oh, oh he was does, just speaking perfect know, English the whole great. time he was in here. If he if he does need someone who speaks multiple languages, hablo español. Okay, well that's great. Sí, hablo poquito español, pero. Sí. Mr. Brown, do you need Brown. me to do you need me to translate for you? No, I can speak English very fine. Oh, okay. All right, I'm just making sure. <laughs> okay, for the record, Mr. Wanzo Brown, could you please introduce yourself to the court? Um, hi, my name is Wanzo Brown from Los Santos. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, um, DA Ripley. Mr. Brown, uh, can we get him? Can we get him? I want to swear him in so that um, we can go ahead and ask him some questions. You want him on the stand? Can we do that? Yes, please. Okay, exactly. please uh, step on the stand, uh, Mr. Wanzo. I think he just smelled my hair. Trying to keep your inappropriate things to yourself, Mr. Brown. Sir, do you solemnly swear I mean, what to, tell the whole, to, to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing about the truth? So help you God? Hell yeah. Wait a minute, what did you just say? Say yeah. Yes. You're skating on thin ice. You're skating on thin ice, Wanzo. Okay? Yeah. Don't, don't bring the street stuff in here in my courtroom. I got you. This ain't the Grizzly Gardens, okay? Sound like a uh, conflict of interest to me, but okay. 
You can proceed. No Mr. talking Brown. out of turn either, sir. You can proceed, DA Ripley. Mr. Brown, how are you today? Oh, um, I've been better. You've been better. Do you remember the last time we saw each other? Um, somebody at the motel off F block. No, no, I don't think that was me. I don't think that was me, Mr. Brown. Oh, well, no, I don't remember the end. Do I look like someone that you would frequently see? It's besides the point. Uh, so the last time I saw you, I believe we were at LSPD, were we not? Uh, we could have been. Do you recall what your charges were that day? Uh, I don't got the best memory. Okay. So let me ask you a question, Mr. Brown. How many times have you been charged with a federal or state crime? How many times? Charged with it? Correct. I don't have a great memory. Would you say it's more than once? Uh, more than once. Um, it may have been, it may have not have been. Would you say it's more than two? It may have been, it may have not have been. Hey, listen here, Brown. You don't remember how many times you've been incarcerated, sir? Is it that many times? I may know, I may not have known. <laughs> sir, are okay, you trying you know, to plead okay. the fifth? Objection, Your Honor. Leading the witness, please. Um, that, 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 that's, that's why my record stays with you guys. So I don't have to keep up with it. Okay. So would you like, uh, all right, that's fine. We can do that. Mr. Brown. When is the last time you went to prison? Last time I went to prison today. And what did you go to prison for today? Um, they told me that I'm being charged with some things. I think they mentioned Rico. And they threw me in a jail cell. Now, I see here on the third that you actually had your record expunged. Do you recall? I don't have a great memory. You don't have a great memory. Mr. Brown, do you have a medical issue? No, not a medical issue. It's just that so much happens in my life, D.A. Ripley, that some stuff just gets thrown out the storage in my brain, you know? What did you have for breakfast this morning? This morning? Objection, relevance. Well, Judge, the relevance is that the suspect here is claiming that he has a poor memory and that he loses memory. This is literally just me trying to make sure that we have a competent person on the stand here. I see where you're heading. Objection overruled. Okay. If I tell you what I had for breakfast, that might be a little inappropriate. Oh, go ahead, please. You're the court. Um, Judge, you want me to go ahead and say it? Please answer the question, Mr. Brown. Okay. Have some ass. Oh my god. You said I look like a virgin. So you're testifying that you ate ass this morning, uh, Mr. Brown. Is that what you'd like to be put in the record? Objection, Precisely. Judge asked and answered. Objection sustained. Please move on. Thank you. That is precisely what did you what have I had. yesterday? Yesterday? Um, my breakfast don't change. I eat the same thing every morning. So, hey, quiet in the courtroom. If you talk again, you will be removed. Judge, can you can you please direct this witness <sighs> to answer the questions Mr. Brown, truthfully? Mr. Brown. Yes. His beard is not so full you, enough for him to eat ass every day. So you mean to tell me? I'm manscaped. You eat booty for breakfast every day. Correct. Not once have you caught food poisoning from this. Negative. Is it the same ass every day? 
I plead the fifth on it. Okay. Next question, please. <clears throat> Mr. Brown, this goes back to testing your memory, okay? Okay. How many cars do you own? How many cars? Mm -hmm. Quite a few. What's the last car that you purchased? The last car that I purchased? Uh, I think it was a Tesla. It's not here yet, though. It's pre-ordered. Okay, and prior to that? Um, the Charger, the Jailbreak Hellcat Charger. That's also a pre-order. And when did you purchase those? This morning. After I ate breakfast. Your Honor. <sighs> yes. You can see that we have a non-compliant witness here, right? I'm answering. I'm answering every question you guys. You guys are asking me. Do you know how serious okay. the Rico case is? I do, Mr. Brown. I do. Do you know you're looking at life in prison? I do. You know everything that you own could be seized. I do. I need you to be as honest as you can here, okay? I'm. I am. I'm being honest. I came up here okay. and I told you. What I do and what I've done. And I'm answering all your questions to the best of my ability. Okay, so then let's just cut to the chase, okay? So, okay. in our evidence file, Mr. Brown, we have footage where you are identifying another person in your organization, Mr. RJ. Um, and you also admit to having a HQ, also known as a headquarters, up north. You wagered money up to $5 million in a competition with known gang leader Mike Garitano. Now, in this footage, not only do you exchange dialogue about the rules of engagement of a potential gang war, but you also claim all the members that were standing behind you as your quote-unquote guys. Are you the leader... Of the Grizzly Gardens. I would like to take this moment to exercise my Fifth Amendment right. Let the record reflect. Mr. Wanzo Brown exercising his Fifth Amendment. And the court will respect it. You can step down, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Judge, if possible, I would like to present to the court that evidence, just so uh, if you would like to broadcast that. It's in the document that was provided to you by Chief Drizzy. Anyway, I just want to drink. Mrs. DA, can you um, Which, uh, by any chance send that to the DOJ emails? You, uh, yes, you have it. It's in the document, mm -hmm. the strawberry. Okay. okay Which thank part you. of evidence are we speaking of? Um, if you go to the documents for the RICO case documents, there's a section uh, where it says part one and part two, where it shows the conversations where Mr. Wanzo Brown is speaking to known uh, Rolling Sisty Crip leader Mike Garitano. Okay, one second, please. Mm -hmm. Do we have that too? Do we have that too? Hey, yes, officer. Peter. Where is it? And were you sent the document sheet? I'm confused. Was the, was the document spreadsheet sent to you? No. Mr. Wanza, would you like me to provide that to you? Yes. Yes. There's part one. Yeah, not that dude. Oh, my fault. I was like, rose from the dead. But check this out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, yo, yo. So I was telling you guys, man, I didn't think we'd be back here so soon, man. Well, me you know neither. Since we is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it going. Obviously, a rule that go from both sides. Once it's over with, it's over with, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, the peace can last a little bit longer for next time. For real. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we act, we ask for two rules on our side. We're gonna give y'all two rules as well. The rules we ask for: no going up north, stay in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, we consider anything past the motels up north. Um, and no snipers. No sniper rifles. Alright. Y'all ain't like, 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 like them snipers, that? man. That's it, man. Uh, uh, they kids, bro. All right, you can't sure. tell a nigga how to do his street shit, bro. Because if I feel like taking a motherfucker to the water, I'm taking them. I'm probably not, because I ain't got that much time to be waiting and shit. But reveal me. It, it is what it is up north. Shout out to Roots. You know we not going up north. No, yeah. I'm ready to play ball right yeah. now. Yeah. If I feel like taking a motherfucker to the water. Could you please tell me in this part of the evidence video which one is Wanzo Brown? Yes, sir. Uh you, you said which part? Which one is Wanzo Brown? I know which which part of the evidence? Yes. In the video, who is part he? one. Oh, uh, okay. Uh I, I don't I don't believe he was identified. Uh I believe he had a mask on. I'm not quite sure which one he is. We just hear his voice. Okay. Was that the evidence that you were referring to? DA Correct. Ripley. Okay. Correct. Well, I just, I just, I, I just took a look at it. You can proceed. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure if Strawberry would like to cross-examine this witness. It is uh, her opportunity to do so before I continue. Yes. Um. Can you go ahead and go back and stand? I'm gonna go ahead and cross-examine you. Uh, no problem. Um, now, Mr. Brown, um, you did watch that first piece of evidence. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Were you there at any time? Was that you speaking? No. You were not there? No. Okay. Do you know anyone by the name of RJ? RJ? Correct. Not that I can think of. Noted. Now, they're saying that you run a quote-unquote gang named Grizzly Garden. Um, do, do you run a gang? No. Are you a leader of any organization? No. That is, that's all I have to ask. All right, you can return to your seat, please. Now, may I speak on the first piece of evidence that was provided to the, the court? Sure. Now, in that piece of evidence that was provided, um, one, you cannot identify Wanzo Brown being in that parking lot. Um, the only thing you can hear is you can hear a voice, but I, I don't see in the evidence that we've received today any voice analyst to detect that it was him. Um, it was a very dark environment. There's no way to visually see him in any way. Wanzo Brown's name was never mentioned in that parking lot as well. Um, Chief Drizzy, did you have a voice analyst go over this video? Negative, sir. So the, the thing is, is this footage is mainly for uh, I mean, we, we, we can we can mainly pin this on the people that he he said in the video, uh -huh. Mr. RJ, Ronnie Jr. and Mr. Duke. So that's okay. what we're really identifying at the scene. Uh, right. Judge. Yes, you can speak. They they named RJ. Now he just said Ronnie Jr. Ronnie That's Jr.'s nickname. name. I said I said Ronnie Jr. Now. I'm okay, sorry. but there was no evidence of Ronnie Jr. Um, aside aside from ballistics, but RJ, we we can't say who RJ is to say that Ronnie Jr. Um, using RJ for short is a nickname. 
there, there's no way to prove that that's his nickname. So we, we do not know, as Wanzo Brown just testified, he does not know who an RJ is. Okay. Um, this other person that you mentioned in the paperwork, Mike, of the Crips, is... Correct. He's present? Could we cross-examine him? Mr. Garatano is not present, I believe. However, he was identified as the leader of the Crips during a uh, recent sweep done by the FBI. Um, so this is going to be a different... We're not charging him. It's just that he was involved in a conversation with the defendant where it they were just subpoenaing him, is what I'm correct. saying. Correct. Correct. Yeah, he's not in the city at the moment, but he is a known gang leader, which leads to um, not only Mr. Brown uh, associating with other felons, because that man is, in fact, a felon, um, but also the fact that they were discussing gang war terms, including body dumping people in the water and things like that. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll visit that whenever it arises. Oh, okay. So what are the exact charges for Mr. Wanzo Brown? So Mr. Wanzo Brown has actually been found in possession of um, lots and lots of heroin, Judge. Uh, in the document, you will see that as well as several other charges, attempted murder. Um, as you know, Judge, the RICO charge, uh, really, we only need him to have been convicted or uh, have the potential to be indicted on two federal or state crimes on the list of RICO charges, and he fits the bill tenfold. Um, the document pretty much outlines everything. Let me direct your attention to something specific there. Just give me one moment. Okay. Okay. So I have an evidence, Your Honor, if you go to page six, the uh, arrest of Mr. Wanzo Brown with 3,900 grams of heroin and six semi-automatic guns. Yes, I've seen um, his, he has a very, very extensive record, a criminal record at that. And um, I'm really trying to understand how is he free at the moment? That's a great question. That's a great question, Your Honor. And it's um, something that I can't really speak to because I've only had the chance to pursue charges against Mr. Wanzo Brown uh, twice. The second time he was released from ple uh, police custody by uh, Chief Grady. And the first time he was actually uh, convicted. So I'm not sure after that how that happened, Your Honor, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, he has been charged several times, not only with uh, possession of large amounts of narcotics, but also he has been charged with murder. He's also uh, There's also plenty of evidence of him being at the scene of crimes uh, with ballistic evidence firing illegal weapons. Okay. Yeah, I, I no. looked over the evidence. I've seen his um, criminal record. Very serious charges that he was already convicted of. Um, and I want to be clear here because I understand that the terms... Um, I heard someone mention earlier that we were trying to try them for the same crime twice. That's not the case. The charges here are not to charge you for crimes that you've already served time for. A RICO charge actually goes to show a pattern of criminal racketeering charges. So if someone is repeatedly um, doing the same crimes and happens to be doing so in conjunction with hey, an organization. Hey, sir, are you smoking a cigarette in my courtroom? <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm going through a lot right now. I need to hit that. I'm going through a lot, Your Honor. They're trying to give me life over something I didn't do. My anxiety is all over the place. Put I the cigarette out. Oh, I, I, shut just your mouth. I just did. I apologize, Your Honor. Your Honor. Control your client. I, I know you're going through a lot, Mr. Brown. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna make sure we get you through this. Just, okay. um, Jesus. Refrain yourself from. Okay. 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 Mrs. Ripley, could you please explain to me how do you tie? all of these individuals into a RICO case. 
what is the sure. connection of the Rico case? Is there, so, is, do they, is they organized crime or they're all distribution of this drug heroin? Correct. It, do they correct, have a supplier? Well, Your Honor, um, well, Drizzy, would you care to explain uh, your document and how we were able to link Mr. Duke Jackson as well as Wanzo Brown to the heroin? Yes, ma'am. So um, we'll start with the shots, Judge. Uh, we've had several crime scenes in this uh, in the city of Los Santos where we come to them, and we've not only found the DNA from several of these people unlawfully shooting uh, and have, honestly committing murders because we've had bodies on the scene, but uh, we've had several people identify them by name as the distributors uh, of heroin. Are uh, these Mr. Duke people that identify them, are they present to take the stand? Um, no, sir. Dead. We do okay. have footage. Do you, I, I've seen the footage. May I, okay. may I speak, what, speak, Judge? Okay, you're not, you're not, hold on, one moment, please. So, um, yes, sir. So, along with the DNA, as well as the footage we have, uh, we have linked everybody over there in that stand to one another, or to another, or through another, etc. And it all uh, stems back to Mr. Duke Jackson. Okay. Okay. Mr. Duke, is Mr. Duke Jackson in the courtroom? Yes, sir. Mr. Jackson. M Mr. Wanto Brown's best friend. Mr. Jackson. You not yo, off? Yo. Yo, what's going on? Maybe you real hard about these charges. He's speaking, Your Honor. Think, a, think a shout, Mr. Jackson. Shout, shout. Yo, what's going on? Could you please take the stand? Man, I ain't taking um, no stand, man. I plead the, plead the fifth. It's over with. Let the um, court reflect that Mr. Duke Jackson is exercising the amendment right, and it will be respected. Uh, um, DA Ripley. Yes, Judge. I'd also like to... Um... So the unit number one, which we subpoenaed the keys for after the Rico case raid on the gardens, it does belong to Mr. Wanzo Brown. And as you know, a grenade as well as several other illegal weapons were found inside that home. But the, among the uh, most terrifying of all of that, of course, is going to be the grenade. So that was uh, in Mr. Wanzo's home, which was okay. locked, by the way. So... He the one that had the grenade in his home. Correct. Could you explain that, Mr. Brown? Yes, of course. Um, my granddad, who I love and appreciate and cherish so much, was in um, World War II. And he brought back home a lot of things. It was it's actually his apartment um, that's in the gardens where he raised me. And um, I don't go through his things, you know, like I, I, I left his room the same way he had it. So if they found a grenade in there, then it had to be his. May God rest his soul. Can I ask a question? Yes. Please. What years did your grandfather serve in the military? I don't have the greatest memory. So, Mr. Brown, we found the AP pistol, mm -hmm. also known as the automatic pistol, in mm -hmm. your home. Are you aware of what year that gun was created? Um, Like I said, I never touched any of my granddad's stuff. Is your granddad still alive? Um, No. Unfortunately. Relevant to your honor. I'm asking because if he is, is a fell in, found in the house. Yes. If he is found in possession of his grandfather's stuff in his home. If his grandfather got a grenade, an AP pistol, a compact rifle, an assault SMG, a hatchet, and knuckle dusters from war. I'd like to be able to link that to a specific war. He can't testify. Unfortunately, he's passed away. We thank him for his service, and uh, we mourn his death. If, if he was still here, he would have been happy to clear, every, clear everything up. 
And let you know that this is all a big misunderstanding. What year did he pass? Um, he passed this morning. What was his name? Calvin. Last name? Brown. Uh, Judge, are you aware of an obituary post or a funeral held for Mr. Calvin Brown? Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing. I am not aware. My granddad was a very older guy, and he believed in the natural ways that people did things. He didn't want all of that funeral stuff or any of that. He just said, listen, just bury me. And uh, I wasn't strong enough to do it. So my uncles buried them. They didn't do all this stuff that people do today, the funerals, obituaries, and stuff like that. Because it's nobody's business but the close families. So we know that he's resting in peace. And what was your grandfather's name? Calvin Brown. Okay. Judge, I'd like to, um, now that he has introduced new evidence to the court, stating that his grandfather is uh, the true owner of those weapons that he passed through this morning, um, I would actually like to... Um, assert that he's in fact perjuring himself right now because there is no record of a Calvin Brown in the Los Santos or San Andreas records. In fact, there's no one named Calvin in the Los Santos or San Andreas records. So, um, when was your records created? Um, if, if your grandfather served in the military, he would be here. How, how far do your records date back? They date back pretty far, Mr. Brown. Like how far? Enough that if your fa grandfather was in the military, Sorry. he would show up in the records, Mr. Brown. Okay. There's no escaping that. Once do, you're do in you the know military, what? Do you know what year military. your record date backs to? You can't even tell me what year he served in war, Mr. Brown. Okay, let the record reflect. There's no record of a Calvin Brown. In the state, of, in the city of Los Santos or Saint Andreas. Okay, this is what I need from you, Mrs. Ripley, and Mr. Drizzy. Okay, to 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 convict the defendant under RICO, the government must prove that the defendant engaged in two or more instances of racketeering activity, and the defendant directly invested in, maintained an interest in, or participated in criminal enterprise affecting interstate or foreign commerce. Yes, sir. I need you guys to tell me. How will this RICO case stand against all of these defendants that you say claim Grizzly Gardens? Correct, Your Honor. Um, at least two or more, Your Honor, all we have to do is pull up their criminal record from the past week. The majority of the people sitting before you have been charged with tons of different felonies, whether it be assault on an LEO, attempted murder of an LEO, attempted murder of a civilian, Possession of an illegal weapon, possession of an illegal Objection. firearm. Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. This has nothing to do with a RICO case and the charges yes, being brought it against has our clients. These are to previous do with the charges. Case. Everything to do with a RICO case. The RICO case states a that RICO they must case be, must prove sir. three of okay, those crimes. On. Let me ask this question. Yes, sir, Let me Judge. Ask this question. As far as a RICO case, you have to prove that there's some type of leadership and that this group is moving in unison. Okay. Correct, sir. That's why we believe Duke Jackson is leading everything. You, what proof do you have that Duke here say, or Wanzo is a leader? Like, I need solid proof. I don't want no one saying a name. I need like proof that these guys so, are actual leaders of the Grizzly Guard. Your Honor, okay. the, the, this entire case should be dismissed. It's a lack of evidence. Wait, could, and hold on, no outbursting, Miss Mrs. Strawberry. Please, no outbursting. I just asked them a question. Judge, if you actually go down to page three, you could see not only, now while we cannot provide the suspects here because it is 3.51 in the morning and this is a late night hearing, we cannot provide those suspects in the court where Duke Jackson is named as the heroin plug-in leader. We do have evidence of Duke taking lead in dialogue between Mr. Mike Garitano in a conversation that led to Mike saying no shooting at Gigi, a.k.a. Grizzly Garden, and Duke radioing back to his allies saying, 
not to shoot at the Crips. There's footage of that as well. Your Honor. And this evidence was obtained how? Um, Your Honor, I believe that one of our undercovers were inside of the uh, gun store with the wire on, and as well as their body cam. Uh, is the undercover here to testify? No, sir. I believe the footage, though, Judge, speaks for itself. Um, Please sure. let the record I'm... reflect that we can't even cross-examine this person who is saying all these the things about our clients. This is uh, D.A. Ripley. The defendant has a right to face his accuser. And we are his accuser. You are the accuser, but you got different dynamics. You got different people that play different roles. And these people should be present. Judge, that would put the undercover cop at risk. You at, you're at risk every day when you are here serving the law. You should go on witness protection also, after doing something like that. That, that would you also... Defend us, please stop outbursting. That Sorry. would also, Judge, that would also compromise his ongoing investigation. Now, we had to act on this immediately because, as you could see, Mr. Wanzo Brown is in possession of a grenade. You know how many explosions we have around those Santos daily? It's, it's truly, I mean, this needs to be ended, Judge. Okay. So that's why we had to act so quickly. I'm sure you can understand the safety of the civilians of this city and this I state. I definitely understand. I definitely do. Okay, um... Do Your the Honor. defenders have anything? Um, yes. Quick, quick question. <clears throat> Since the grenade is so old, um, did they even see or check to see if the grenade was um, armed or charged? That grenade might not even work. Yes, we have. Uh, I'm getting word from my chief that we did check the and uh, the grenade was active. was still a pin inside the grenade. Was, did you, was did there you pull any them? evidence we do have provided it, you to the people. court that it was working? No well, evidence we have the was grenade provided. We have the grenade ready to show the judge and the uh, defendant. Um, you could have switched the grenade. Right. We we, we have no evidence. We've, we've had live body cam on uh, we've, we've obtained it. We can provide the live feed uh, to you guys if you would like. Okay. Which is a question. Yes, sir. I would also like to mention um, for all of the evidence that was provided against Mr. Brown, one, the one in the parking lot, as I mentioned before, you were never able to identify him. There was no voice analyst in here to, to match his voice to the crime. Um, it was too dark at night to see really anybody in that parking lot. Now, these other charges with the attempt of murder that were, was on there, um, they want to say that that belongs to a RICO charge, but it's not showing how it's all related, quote unquote, to gang called Grizzly Garden. Yes. There, we have nobody here to testify um, against them. It's it's almost all hearsay. Okay. Okay, so listen, this is what we'll do. May I add one thing, Judge? You want to add one thing? Who is that? Yes, sir. <laughs> so... The, the RICO charge is supposed to, as you said, prove two of the crimes that is a RICO is a RICO crime. So bribery, drug trafficking, kidnapping, you know, the mafia has been linked to cr cases of racketeering. I mean, this Grizzly Garden Boys gang, however you said, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely not the mafia. They're not the mob. They're not money, money laundering. They're not using businesses to, you know, clean money. They're not doing any of these things that is a RICO crime. These are serious crimes, none of the less. None of the judge, less. Objection, Judge. Like I said Listen. earlier, the gentlemen that are sitting here before you literally have charges for several of the crimes on uh, that are listed Some under the RICO Act. Yeah, yes, yes, I agree. I agree. I agree with that. They, they objection. Some of these charges. people have already. Hold on, excuse me. Why do you do this? My apologies, Mr. Dick Wrinkley. I agree as far as the charges. The thing is, you have to prove organization within these charges. Like somehow, some way, everything, like them charges, they, they have been charged with all that need to tie in with each other. That's the whole thing of a RICO. 
It have to be some type of unisys where everything is connected. Yes, this Judge. charge is connected to him, and this charge is everything and needs to be connected in order for this to be a Rico case. Correct. A gang I, is a gang, but an organization is something different. I 100% agree, Judge. And we also have additional proof that they are linked, um, not only by attire, but we have provided clips from body cam footage from undercover showing that they move as a unit to commit criminal acts, including the war uh, between known gang members. Um, not only that, Judge, but every time that they are picked up for their charges, they're all wearing a very specific article of clothing. And that particular article of clothing happens to be the Grizzly Gardens chain. Now, there are several varieties of that chain, but there is one that is specifically named Grizzly Gardens. And while that alone, of... while that alone is not enough to say that they are a criminal organization, that paired with the gentlemen who are wearing said chain are the ones who are actively being arrested for crimes together and separately is enough evidence to prove that they are moving as an organization. Now, the LSPD wears a badge, right? And they all wear a very specific shirt and a specific vest. They all move together just like a unit and an organization, right? So Honor, if we're objection. going to, if we're Go going ahead, to, Sash. none of, so she's mentioning these chains, Grizzly Garden chains, none of this was provided in that spreadsheet that you and I and the rest of the court have received. So that that's not relevant to this case at all. So they had Judge, the time to add it to the spreadsheet actually, and that was not Actually, added. we do not need to provide photos of their intake photos from when they were convicted of crimes. That's public record. Anybody can look that up. Objection you're saying sustained. that that chain is a. Objection you're sustained. saying that. Please do not mention the chains if they are not in the evidence. Okay, sir. So what is in the evidence though is their their record, and these guys, several of these guys have been together when robbing banks. Several of these guys have been together when convicted for murders. Several of these guys have been together when they've been convicted for having drugs on them and been a part of drug sales. Okay. So that is what we did. We have linked them to because they have been associated with each other's in crimes that we have documented yeah i see that one. yeah i see that okay one thing that um does come back to them all is they all like to hang out in the known place called the grizzly garden mm -hmm. uh aka uh their gang name so this is we also have that we just raided and found multiple weapons and a shitload of drugs correct sir a lot of heroin gotcha gotcha Okay, um, DA Ripley, could you please go in for the closing statement? Damn. DA Ripley? I'm sorry, Judge. Could you please go in for the closing statement? Um, Judge, are we prepared to extend this out to um, allow for witnesses to be uh, present in jail? I'd like to request a um, continuance. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, a, a recess, Judge. We can recess, continue this another day. Schedule this for a different time. Um, how will we proceed with the um, the defendants? Will we will they stay in custody? Like, how will we go about this? Judge, I will leave that up to your recommendation. However, what I would like to say specifically about Mr. Wanzo Brown and several of these members here, really, to be honest, all the gentlemen arrested here is that they are known to perpetrate violent violent crimes. I do not feel uh, safe releasing them out to the streets of Los Santos. But that's entirely up to you, Judge. Your Honor, may I speak? Yes. I would, I would like to say if we cannot make a motion to continue this another day, they said that this took weeks for them to prepare. They had more than had enough no time. Evidence. They had more than enough time to gather everything, have all of the witness ready. We had approximately 10 minutes as their defense to gather information. So I find it unfair to allow them any more time. As we've had none. Miss Cash, can I ask you a question? You may. Have you never received evidence from the DA prior for the crimes that you've uh, defended these clients for? All of the all of the crimes that I have been presented, they were closed cases. I assessed them at the time, the cases have been closed. So also, are you judge, saying you have no knowledge like of the prior crimes that you're 
let the me prior ask crimes, mm-hmm. yes, I have knowledge of them, but they're not being presented here in court. So these, Mr. These... Chief Drizzy, how long did it take for you to prepare this case? Uh, sir, I've, I've been working on the case for um, a long time, but to actually prepare for it, um, shit, man, what is, honestly, what is I... a long time? Give me a ballpark number. Around six months, sir. Six months. Okay. And we have ten minutes. Not an overstatement. And uh, so uh, Judge, motion... I'd like to add on behalf of the defense that Wait, the motion to continue, the motion to uh, for a recess uh, will be denied. Uh, I feel that the prosecution had enough time to put this together. Whether they got with you in time or not, D, uh, D.A. Ripley, is solely on the federal, whether it be ATF, DEA, or the police department. It's solely rest is on the chief because this should have been handled more delicate. Um... And I really don't want to drag this out too long. Uh, so we can go in for like for the closing, please. Could you please close an argument from both sides? So, Judge, you're denying the opportunity to extend this case out tomorrow, and we can provide witnesses. I feel that the prosecution had enough time. You, f- what, Judge? Did you or did you not? Judge, did you or did you not actually request for me to fly in specifically to hear this case an hour ago? That's what I said. This this rests on the PD because the PD was supposed to inform you about this when they was building this case six months ago. Okay, Judge. You should have knew about this case before I knew about it. Uh, the defendants, Miss Cash, would you please, with your closing argument, please? Yes. Um, so as we went over the evidence today in court, um, my client, as well as other clients that we have on the stand with us, were able to prove that this is not an act of a RICO racketeering charge in any ways. These are just individual charges that um, were being brought up. It is a lack of evidence and hearsay. Is that all you have to say? Yes, and we also plead um, not guilty to these charges for the racketeering. Okay. Is there any type of plea agreements? Judge, I, w- I was saying a second ago, I'd like to add that I did ask and reach out to the defense attorney and see if that we could come to an agreement for any of the clients. And I asked to see the evidence, speak with the district attorney and look at it, see if we can come to an agreement. And we obviously did not receive that option. So. Is this correct, Mrs. Ripley? Yes, Judge. No plea agreements. The defense rest. Um, plea agreements? Yeah. I would say for Mr. Duke Jackson and Mr. Wanzo Brown, because they were found in possession of such large amounts of heroin, as well as possession of several illegal weapons in Mr. Wanzo's home, which he is claiming is tied to his grandfather who passed away this morning, either before or after he ate ass his normal breakfast. Um, I would say uh, asset, for, asset forfeiture. Uh, as well as a thousand months in prison each for them. Uh, and then for the remaining members, 500 months apiece. Mm, okay. Did you, guys, did you hear the defendants? Did you hear the plea agreement? I definitely heard it. Would you like to proceed? I would like to speak to my client, um, if you don't mind me speaking to my client. Okay. I speak with him outside of the courtroom for about five minutes. Five minutes? Yes, a five-minute recess is being requested. I object. So we got no recess. I I believe there should be no recess for the defendants as well. Okay, so then I I will speak to him as the judge already said I could. Objection sustained. I want to plead not guilty. 
They don't have enough evidence. Are you pleading not guilty to the weapons that were found in your home, sir? That is correct. <laughs> okay. We plead not guilty to the RICO charges. Which we've been charged with today. That is correct. Unless it's an it's another charge that I didn't know about. Want to continue. Oh, yeah. We, we've already plead not guilty before. Okay. So, looking over this evidence, I can clearly see that there's something that's going on in this neighborhood called the Grizzly Gardens. I can see a number of you guys that's in this courtroom are career criminals. I see your record, what you've been charged with, what you were on probation or parole for, um, what was found in your home today. So, who all, excuse me, uh, Miss Ripley, who all, who, 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 what was found at each one of them homes? Like, who had something in there? Like well, Judge, as you heard home. earlier, even though we subpoenaed uh, their keys, only three homes were um, accounted for on that list. And was anything um, found in them homes? The house number one was the one that was found with the majority of the contraband. Um, That's not a claim. No. House Calvin. number one belongs to Mr. Wanzo Brown. Belongs to Mr. Okay. Calvin Brown. I live there now. And there is no record of a Calvin Brown ever living in Los Santos. Not to mention the Grizzly Gardens were just raised about, uh, what, a month and a half ago? Okay. So, um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. What about the other homes? Anyone over there that claimed them that they had contraband in their home? No, sir. Nobody claimed it, um, but we did have several homes found with contraband. We found 30 bricks of heroin, 20 bricks of cocaine, uh, around 20 bricks of opium, uh, $18 million total, and a lot of guns. Objection, oh, obje objection Your Honor. Uh, we've already ran through the closing and arguments. This is a project the house. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Hunter. I'm asking questions. That's why they're speaking on it, because I'm asking questions. And we've also found 900 grizzly coins, which is only <coughs> obtainable, um, you know, through legal, illegal ways. But all uh, of these, and, all of this contraband that you just named, besides what Wanzo Brown confessed to, the rest of this is unclaimed contraband. Correct. Correct. Okay. There's no way that we can figure out who place this is. You would have to subpoena the records of either the realtor or the state in order to get that. Um, that's the only way. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, if, if any of these gentlemen do own those homes, there's no way for us to really physically check, which is why we asked for the subpoena so that if it were to come out that they do in fact own these homes or have keys to these homes, um, they would be found guilty of obstruction of justice. Okay. So listen, I feel like we, we should, have. Uh... You, well, you guys should have spent more time. So, today, I'm going to say, I'm going to dismiss this case against everybody. But, I am... You heard you fuck Nathan Casey Smith. Get out this holy. Fuck this motherfucker, man. Hey, back up. Everybody LGBT. sit down. Everybody oh my sit God, the fuck what down. To Everybody hey, sit so the fuck hey. down. Hey. Sit down. Oh my God, what happened to D? Hey. Hey.
Order in the court. Come on, everybody, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Somebody get Mr. Brown off my desk. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. You the problem. 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 Quiet in the courtroom. Quiet in the courtroom. This is what you've done, Judge. Free to Jack Boy. It did not prove a Rico in no shit way, shape, shut or up. form. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Shut Chris, your mouth. Chris, you the problem. You mad as fuck. You the problem. You the problem. Salty. Shut shit. That's bum ass. This is attorney shit. So, uh, look, see, man. Look, he see, man. man. He mad yes, as fuck. Court is dismissed. Come on, you the judge. Have a good day. We out this hole, nigga. You the problem, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. We out this hole, nigga. Yeah, hoe, 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 nigga. Yeah, hoe,